Welcome to Getting Geeky. I'm your host, Gina Shrek, and today we're talking customizing your YouTube channel. Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips in bite sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Get Okay, so here's just a quick tip on how to customize the layout of your YouTube channel. And if you haven't got a YouTube channel, get over to youtube.com and sign up for your channel. It's free, and even if you don't have videos to load yet, you can use your playlists and your favorites um, to really customize a collection of videos that you would like to share with your community. So if you have a YouTube channel, you want to be able to customize how it looks. So I'm going to just jump right over to YouTube and let's show you how to set this up. Okay, so let's take a look at how to change the setup of your channel. So when you first log into YouTube, you may be brought to your channel, but a lot of times you are brought to your videos page where it just shows you a list like this of all the videos you have uploaded. So if this is the page you have been brought to, just go over to my channel. Well, not my channel. Go over to your channel. <laughs> go to my channel and then at the top, right above the main video there, you want to click settings. Now again, I said above the main video. Yours may look different because you can customize how you want this set up. So if you go to your settings and then you start looking at um, obviously themes and colors, you can change the background and then the modules, you can decide do you want to have your friends um, shown at the bottom, you can customize to have your recent activity, the uploads, comments, so you kind of pick and choose what you want on your YouTube channel and then if you click over to videos and playlists so what do you want to display I have displayed my my uploaded videos obviously then anything that I favorite I also want that showing on the right hand side and then I have playlists so I, I've created different playlists and then this is the important one the featured layout so I have it set up for player view. If you choose grid view, it um, just creates obviously a grid across the screen and all your videos can be dis uh, displayed there. And then featured content, again, what you want. Well, you want your videos, you want everything. You can decide. Maybe you only want to show the videos you have uploaded instead of um, everything else. And maybe you don't have any videos you've uploaded, so you can just say, uh, perhaps I wanna just have it show my favorites, anything that I've already favorited. I have mine to all my stuff. I love the fact that they use stuff. And then what is the video you want featured? So here you can choose from all the videos that you've um, uploaded. Now you can say that you want it to um, auto play so that it will start as soon as somebody comes to your page. I would not recommend that. I, I think people like to have control of pushing that play button in case they're somewhere that they need to uh, be aware of the sound coming on. You can also in there you can select the most recent video. So maybe you want your featured video to be any new video that you uploaded. Um, I select one and then I usually change that out. And then be sure to save your settings. And there you go. When people come to your channel, they will see, voila, your featured videos and anything you select. No. So how hard was that? Come on, honestly. That was easy. It was easy, wasn't it? So until next time, keep your questions coming and keep getting geeky.